Hey, I'm up at Grandma's again. You know, we're this pandemic thing. We're a couple of months into it, and everybody's, which is like a minute ago, my daughter came by 10 o'clock at night. You know, you have to buy it when you can get it. And she dropped off a bag of veggies here and stood about halfway out into the street to talk. And uh, Tikara said to drop it off here. They're running out of refrigerator room because we have to get it when we can get it. So we can, uh, like we went, uh, my wife and I, Friday, and we uh, had ordered it two weeks ago and, you know, got the pickup. And the trunk was completely empty. We made the orders and made sure it was put in bags. Just, they keep changing their situations, and I mean, it took that guy, he had you, that Buick got a huge trunk. I mean, it filled it all with a little bit of stacking, you know, with the potato chips and stuff, you know, like that. So, this, uh, it's not what I want to talk about in this little clip thing, but I thought I'd mention it. I've been reading in Deuteronomy, I, I uh, have... COPD and asthma, and I t do this breathing thing in the morning. And I read, uh, you know, a couple of chapters. I was went all the way through Deuteronomy, just now clicked over three days ago into Joshua. But uh, Moses is lost, you know. Yeah, it's like it's like to do, you know. I don't know if you ever got into Deuteronomy and all the things they had to go through for cleanliness and. You know, scrub a week, and you know you, you're unclean for a week, and you know scrub everything down, and you know so they. It's like when they were out there in the desert, they were going through a coronavirus shutdown, but they were out in the desert and just heard a sermon tonight about how, you know, their clothes forty years, their clothes didn't wear out, their shoes didn't wear out. I knew all this before, but it's just neat to hear it again, you know, because I, I pray in the morning that, you know, that God will extend our vehicles, you know, a couple of, the, couple of ours really have to do a lot of driving, you know, I remember the dude around me said, and their, your feet never got swollen or sore, oh Lord, let those tires just get some extra miles on them. And, let that engine get some seven, some two or three hundred thousand miles on it in his transmission, you know, asking God to provide for them, make sure those vehicles uphold all this. If only a couple of the families can get out and, you know, their, their job is necessary because they're managing properties and what have you. But anyway, what I want to talk about is the mind versus the body. And uh, it's it's strange, you know. You ever find yourself uh, standing in front of the dresser? And so my my advice to you is, if you find yourself standing somewhere, uh, and you're thinking, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> just stay there for a little bit and just look around, and you'll see. What you came into that room for? He says, so "This is mind versus body." So the you're in the kitchen, say, and you wanna you wanna go get the uh, your keys and your wallet around the dresser, and so you tootle on down the hall and you go in, and then you find yourself standing in front of the dresser. And yeah, what am I doing here? And just look around a little bit, and then you'll see what you came in there for. See, the body knows what you want. The you know the mind told the body go so such and such place and get such and such thing. And then the mind, you know, it's gone off into outer limits somewhere, and and then you find your body at a certain point at a certain place. So, yeah, the mind sent the body where it needed to go, and now the body's where it's supposed to be, 
and the mind is saying, what am I, what am I here for? And every, it seemed like every time you hear like if, if it's a snake, it would have bit you thing. Uh, and sometimes it's maybe a little bit to the right or to the left, but usually it's right on the money. I mean, you are right there. You're your body took you exactly where you needed to go. So I've been thinking this thing of the, the mind versus the body. The body knows what it's there for. You know, uh, just the tripod, for instance, that this is on. You know, I have to gather up my stuff to, you know, I'm only up here, you know, a couple of days and it's amazing all the stuff I take with me and I have to take it back again, but you know, it's stuff I, stuff I need. You know, every time my daughters are here and they're going to the corral and they got a project, you know, and, uh, and I'll load, I'll send them up with all kinds of different stuff, you know, and they end up using everything, everything I sent them, they ended up needing it and using it. You know, my mind uh, was, you know, was, my mom was this way. She could, she was a, uh, I inherited this from my mother. She was a, she could think of a dress. Cause you know, we, we had to make her own, she had to make her own clothes back in the day. And she could build a dress in her mind. And then it's just a matter of the material and the scissors and the sewing machine. And, and she's got it all mapped out. And, cut this, cut that, stitch that, pleat this, and you come up with this nice dress or pair of pants or shirt, you know, so I kind of inherited that from her. They tell me what they're doing. They got to go put this post in the ground, and then they'll come by the house, and I'll be out front with all kinds of stuff, and I'm wondering if they're thinking, what do we need all this for? But then they get there, and they end up doing it, because you know, the mind knows what's needed and then the body starts throwing all these different things in, uh, the screw gun, the pliers, the vice grips, the, you know, the little short handle uh, uh, mallet, uh, I call it, a, I guess they call it a short jack or, you know, it's not like a sledgehammer, it's more like a short little sledgehammer, but anyway, and and so this, the body, the body follows orders. And uh, so like I was saying, this tripod, I, I ended up uh, being in my bedroom and I didn't quite get all the way into the bedroom because you go down the hall, my bedroom's this way, computer room, Mary's domain is over here. And I go down the hall and I'm a step into the bedroom, my bedroom. And my body stops me, and I'm I'm not there looking at a dresser or something. And it so, just takes a few seconds. I just kind of sit still. And I was three feet away from this tripod because instead of going to that, the tripod was over the left. I just on a hook behind the door. The door opens as a weird hook, and I just hang that thing there. So my I needed the tripod. My mind sent me for it. My body took me to it, and then my mind forgot what it was in there for. In just a couple of seconds, you know, I'm looking this way, and the tripod's over there. And then, hold the tripod, so I go over there and get it. And, uh, like my, you know, you think in dementia, you're beginning to lose it. You're beginning to forget it, forget it, things. But I, I don't know, it's just, uh, I just find it strange how the, how the body always takes me where the mind sent me to. But this is not just an age thing, you know, like I'm, I'm 81 years old and, uh, and I've had this kind of situation going on all the time. Even at work, I'll find myself, what am I doing? And, oh, I want that piece of diverter. That's what I came over here for. And that was years ago, so it's an ongoing thing. So, whenever you find yourself standing around thinking, what am I in here for? Just relax. 
and look around. Ah, I came in here to get that. So trust your body. Your body will take you to where your mind sent you. Aren't we just lovely built? I mean, what's that verse? Uh, we are so magnificently created or, you know, God built a perfect machine when he, when he made humans. Um, I've started to say too perfect, but then, um, you know, choice comes in. But anyway, so sit through this v v coronavirus thing. You know, we're going to get out of it. And while you're here, you're spending a lot of time at home alone. Just maybe count how many times a day you find yourself standing somewhere. What am I here? And you just kind of think back on that day. How many times did I do that? God made a wonderful body, you know, like this part forgot. My mother-in-law's coming in here. She's wondering what I am. It's midnight. And she doesn't have her hearing aids in. So I'll have to yell at her to, to, for her to hear her. So I'm going to uh, just stop this now so I don't have to to yell to tell her what I'm doing in here and ask her why she's in here this late at night. She just went out of her bed a half an hour ago. So God bless you. Have a good time.